after completing anion analysis we have to start the cation analysis already the some anions we already identified chloride sulfate nitrate carbonate and acetate right now we are going for the cation analysis what is the positive charge species in the given salt they are all cation we group into zero group first to sixth group many groups are there in which some particular cations are there so first of all we have to do the group analysis we have to identify the cation is belongs to which group okay so whenever do, doing the cation analysis we need the help of which one salt solution salt solution either you can make the given salt in uh, we can dissolve in distilled water cold water if it is not soluble in cold water you can heat it maybe it's soluble in hot water okay if it is not soluble in cold water and hot water you can try with a dilute hcl okay dilute hcl even cold dilute hcl and hot dilute hcl so mainly we are checking the solubility of the solid in two solution water and dilute dilute hcl either in cold water or hot water dilute hcl or hot uh, dilute hcl like that we can make the solution of the given salt the first so before doing the salt analysis especially cation analysis we should be ready with the salt solution okay now we can go for the uh, group uh, calculation of the given cation so they're all zero group first is starting with a zero group it may contain ammonium ammonium uh, uh, cation will be there in groups group zero what is the test to a little of salt solution to it or to a little of salt here you can use salt also salt or salt solution add uh, which one a sodium carbonate solution sodium carbonate so till it love salt or salt solution add sodium carbonate if you add sodium carbonate you will get a clear solution if you are getting a clear solution which indicate that presence of ammonium what is a clear solution when you treat the ammonium salt with the sodium carbonate it form ammonium carbonate it's a clear solution because it is soluble in water which indicate presence of ammonium as cation in group zero group zero only one cation ammonium let's go to group one group one contain lead as a cation pb2 plus to a little of salt solution and dilute hcl dilute hcl is the group one uh, reagent okay group one reagent is dilute hcl so to a little of salt add dilute hcl you know lead combined with the chlorine you will get lead chloride as a white precipitate if you are getting a white precipitate which indicate group one or the group one cation is present that is lead let's go to group 2 group 2 contain cu2 plus you know copper salt as i told you it's a normally it's a colored salt so they won't provide colored salt for your examination anyway let me tell you the test to a little of salt solution add the h dilute hcl and pass h2s gas hydrogen sulfide gas what all to the salt solution add dilute hcl and pass h2s gas if you're passing h2s gas that is a group 2 reagent okay which all dilute hcl and h2s gas that is a group 2 reagent if you add it if you're getting a black precipitate a black precipitate of cupric sulfide which indicate that a cu2 plus can be present besides as i told you cu2 plus copper salt mostly they won't give you for exam uh, that is always will give you a colorless salt you know anyway group two let me just uh, cancel let me group go to group three group three cation is very sure aluminium group three contain one cation aluminium al3 plus what is the test to a little of salt solution add ammonium solid ammonium chloride and excess of ammonium hydroxide if you add like this one you will get a white gelatinous precipitate like you know starch water and all white gelatinous precipitate you will get it that is what aluminium hydroxide aluminium hydroxide form that indicate presence of group 3 cation aluminium all right let's go for group uh, let's go for group 4 group 4 cations are zinc and uh, manganese zn2 plus and mn2 plus little of salt solution at ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide and pass h2s gas these are the group 4 reagents okay which all ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide and h2s gas okay so zinc uh, if it is zinc it will give you a dirty white precipitate and if it is a manganese you will get a flush colored precipitate
I'm going for which one? The group of five and group of six cation. Group five and group six are many important cations are there. What is group five analysis? Dear all, to a little of salt to solution, add ammonium chloride, excess of ammonium hydroxide and ammonium carbonate. If you add these three reagents, if you add these three, which all are the group five reagents? Dear all, ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide and ammonium carbonate. Okay, if you add these kind of reagents, if you are getting a white precipitate then you can indicate that the presence uh, there is a presence of group of 5 cation it can be calcium ca2 plus strontium sr2 plus or barium ba2 plus that's white precipitate is nothing but if it is barium it will give you barium carbonate and strontium give you strontium carbonate white precipitate And let's go for the last sixth group that is expected one magnesium mg2 plus group six only one cation mg2 plus what is the test to a little of salt to solution add ammonium chloride and excess of ammonium hydroxide and disodium hydrogen phosphate if you add these three reagents if you're getting a white precipitate of magnesium ammonium phosphate which indicate that presence of sixth group that is magnesium Let's see that if the given salt contain ammonium as a cation or not. Dear all, let me take a uh, salt, a pinch of salt, a pinch of salt into the test tube. You can start to do with the, you can add distilled water and you can uh, dissolve it. It's, uh, ammonium salts mostly soluble in the uh, water. To which that sol solid or solid solution, we have to add sodium carbonate, group 0 reagent, sodium carbonate. Okay, so let me add sodium carbonate into the solution or this uh, solid. What is the observation here all? If you are getting a clear solution, if you are getting a clear solution which indicate presence of ammonium, that is very sure there is no kind of uh, precipitate is forming, it's still very clear, it's a very clear solution, you can able to see that. Right, it's a very clear solution. So, to the salt, when you added, which what you added here all, if you to the salt, if you added sodium carbonate, if you are getting a white, a just a clear solution, very clear solution, which indicate that group zero cation that is ammonium. Now let's go for the confirmatory test for ammonium. Let's go to the confirmatory test for ammonium cation. Take a pinch of salt into your test tube. Okay, either you can do with the solution or solid. So to a pinch of salt, add sodium hydroxide, NaOH. Okay, sodium hydroxide solution. Let me add few drops of sodium hydroxide and warm gently. We have to warm this mixture. We have to warm this mixture. So what all things are there? There is a solid, the given salt and then sodium hydroxide. Right. Warm gently. And just try to get the order of the solution. It's having a very strong smell that is of ammonia. So that's one, uh, one more step is there. Take a glass rod and concentrated HCl. Dip that glass rod in concentrated HCl. Dip the glass rod in the concentrated, carefully observe, in the concentrated HCl and show on mouth of the test tube. Right, dear all, can you able to see that? There is a ammonium chloride there's a gas if white fumes are generated that is ammonium chloride okay i'll show you once again a dense white fumes are generated when you dipped in concentrated hcl that is nothing but ammonium chloride solution is all having a very pungent you know ammonia the compounds having very strong smell okay so that is the confirmatory one of the confirmatory test for which one uh, ammonium okay now let's go for one more confirmatory test for ammonia. Let's go to the second confirmatory test for ammonium cation. 
Take a pinch of salt into a test tube and uh, make it as a solution by adding some distilled water. You can add some distilled water and shake it well. Soluble in distilled water, right. So to the salt solution, we have to add Nestler's reagent. We have to add Nestler's reagent to the given salt. You can able to see that everyone carefully observe, you will get a reddish brown precipitate. Hope you can able to see that reddish brown precipitate. If you're getting a reddish brown precipitate by treating with a Nestler's reagent, it is confirmed that the given salt, salt contain ammonium as cation. After identifying group 0 cation ammonium, we are going for the group 1 cation analysis that is lead 2 plus, you know PB2 plus. So for group 1 analysis, what are the reagents is required? Very simple, to a little of salt solution, to a little of salt solution, we have to add, maximum we have to add the, add it all the distilled water, so because tap water will make another uh, solutions, okay, many ions will be there. So, they are all to a little of salt solution, we have to add dilute HCl. Okay, dilute hydrochloric acid, we have to add it. Dilute hydrochloric acid. So, when you are adding dilute hydrochloric acid to the solution, yes, it is very clear. It is getting a white precipitate of lead chloride. When lead salt react with the dilute hydrochloric acid, it forms white precipitate of lead chloride, which indicate the presence of first group 1 cation, lead 2 plus. Now, let us go for the confirmatory test for lead cation. Confirmatory test is so simple to get for uh, lead. To a little of salt solution. Again, I am taking a pinch of salt, pinch of salt and add some distilled water okay after adding distilled water we have to add potassium iodide there are two confirmatory tests for lead cation either you can add potassium iodide if you add potassium iodide to this lead uh, salt pb2 plus salt you will get a yellow golden yellow precipitate of lead iodide if you add uh, this uh, salt solution to the salt solution if you add potassium chromate if you add potassium iodide you will get golden yellow precipitate of lead iodide to the salt solution when you add potassium chromate solution you will get a yellow precipitate that is lead chromate let's see that that reaction so let me add potassium chromate you can add potassium iodide then you will get golden yellow precipitate of which one uh, lead uh, uh, iodide if you add potassium chromate solution there also you will get yellow precipitate that is what lead chromate so let's see dear all when you add potassium chromate into this solution you can able to get a clear a yellow colored precipitate hope you can able to see that a yellow colored precipitate are forming these two reaction indicate that the given salt contain group 1 cation that is which one lead 2 plus pb2 plus cation Let's go directly to the group third analysis, group third identification. Group three contain only one cation, aluminium three plus, Al three plus. So what is the test? To a little of salt solution. So to a little of salt, let me add distilled water and dissolve it. To a little of salt solution, we have to add group 3 reagent. What are the group 3 reagents? That is ammonium chloride, solid ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide excess of ammonium hydroxide okay so let me take uh, ammonium chloride okay ammonium chloride crystals we can add it solid ammonium chloride solid ammonium chloride okay then let me add ammonium hydroxide excess of ammonium hydroxide okay so as a benzene reagent ammonium hydroxide the observation is white gelatinous precipitate, okay, white gelatinous precipitate, gelatinous, right, like uh, a starch water, you can able to see a gelatinous precipitate, excess amount of, okay, it's a very clearly you can able to understand that, you're all can you able to see that a white gelatinous, a jelly type, right, a white gelatinous precipitates are formed. If you getting a white gelatinous precipitate like this one, you can able to say that it may contain group 3 cation which one aluminium Al3 plus. But we can, if you want to confirm, let's go for the confirmatory test. You can do the confirmatory test here itself. Okay, so I am taking a, a small portion of the solution. 
a small portion of the solution ready it's again white gelatinous precipitate the confirmatory test is to this white gelatinous precipitate you have to add sodium hydroxide you have to add sodium hydroxide solution if you add sodium hydroxide solution first drop wise very slowly very slowly then excess if you add sodium hydroxide solution dear all you can able to see that that white gelatinous precipitate is dissolved right you are getting a clear solution now right which indicate this given salt contain group 3 aluminium as cation Let's go for the group 4 cation analysis as I already told you that's contains zinc and manganese. The manganese salt and all flesh colored that's colored salt. So mostly they won't provide for your examination. So I'm going for the group 5 cation. Group 5 and 6 the cations are most important for our exam. Group 5 cations are barium, calcium and strontium. First of all, we have to identify whether it is uh, group 5 or not. What is the test we already discussed? To a little of salt solution. To a little of salt solution. Let me take salt and let me add some distilled water and maximum dissolve it. Okay. To a little of salt solution. And what are the group 5 reagents, dear all? For the viva, they will ask you what are the group 5 reagents, sixth reagent, first, second, third, like that. Which all are the group 5 reagents? Group 5 reagents are ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide and ammonium carbonate so let me add first of all ammonium chloride you can add sol solid or a solution we'll get the result okay let me add some solid uh, ammonium chloride first okay ammonium chloride ammonium chloride then let's add ammonium hydroxide okay ammonium chloride over then I'm adding ammonium hydroxide okay ammonium hydroxide some excess amount we can add it ammonium hydroxide then we have to add ammonium carbonate group 5 reagent one more is there ammonium carbonate so when you adding ammonium carbonate also we can able to see that a white precipitate form yes dear all a dense white precipitate form if you're getting a white precipitate we can able to say that it may contain group 5 cation maybe calcium strontium and barium so we have to confirm whether it is calcium strontium barium through their respective confirmatory test first i am going for barium confirmatory test okay so let's go for the barium confirmatory test carefully listen all of you what is a barium confirmatory test to a little of uh, salt solution so let me take again the salt this actually this given salt is barium so if, if, we, if you consider barium if the given salt if the for your examination if they given a salt so first of all maybe doing the confirmatory test for barium you won't get it then for go for, go for calcium if you're not there go for strontium okay like that you have to do it so this is actually a barium salt so to the salt solution to the salt solutions dear all i'm going to do the confirmatory test for barium to a salt solution and two three drops of concentrated acetic acid okay concentrated acetic acid you know acetic acid is ethanoic acid while adding concentrated acid dear all very careful okay very careful maximum try to use dropper and all okay let me add a few drops of concentrated uh, acetic acid so after adding concentrated acetic acid we have to add potassium chromate solution potassium chromate solution will be available in your lab potassium chromate a yellow colored solution if you're adding potassium chromate solution yes we can able to see that yellow precipitate form this yellow precipitate which indicate the presence of or formation of barium chromate barium chromate is yellow in color if you're getting this yellow precipitate which is confirmed that it is barium as a cation now let's go for the confirmatory test for strontium ion from the fifth group to a little of salt solution so take a little of salt and add a distilled water or the uh, proper make it as a proper solution okay to a little of salt solution we have to add we have to add two three drops of acetic acid okay acetic acid concentrated acetic acid again we can add it 
concentrated after adding concentrated acetic acid two three drops of concentrated acetic acid we have to add we have to add we have to add ammonium sulfate ammonium sulfate solution okay we have to add ammonium sulfate solution so when you adding ammonium sulfate solution dear all we can able to see that we can able to see that a white precipitate form right a white precipitate if you're getting a white precipitate after this reaction which indicate that's a formation of strontium sulfate which indicate the presence of strontium from the given salt let's go for the confirmatory test for group 5 another cation calcium so to a little of salt solution to a little of salt solution okay to a little of salt solution we have to add two three drops of acetic acid again we have to add two three drops of concentrated acetic acid okay concentrated acetic acid okay then we have to add ammonium oxalate ammonium oxalate solution so when you adding ammonium oxalate you will get a white precipitate thick white precipitate of when you adding ammonium oxalate you will get a white thick precipitate of which one that is calcium oxalate so when you to the salt solution when you add which one acetic acid and ammonium oxalate you will get a white precipitate of which one white precipitate of uh, calcium oxalate which indicate the presence of group 5 cation calcium After identifying group 5 cations and their confirmatory tests, we are going for the last group that is sixth group analysis. If you want to identify whether the salt is belongs to sixth group cation or not, take a pinch of salt and uh, make it a solution first. Okay, salt solution. To a little of salt solution, we have to add ammonium chloride. Let me add some crystals of or solids of ammonium chloride. And we have to add ammonium hydroxide okay ammonium hydroxide what are the group 6 reagent ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide and disodium hydrogen phosphate ammonium chloride we added now let me add some excess of ammonium hydroxide okay ammonium hydroxide and we have to add disodium hydrogen phosphate disodium hydrogen phosphate ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide and disodium hydrogen phosphate we can able to see that a white precipitate form a white precipitate form which indicate uh, magnesium ammonium phosphate if you're getting a white precipitate which which can indicate that the presence of group 6 cation that is magnesium let's go for the confirmatory test for magnesium first of all it's very simple magnesium if it is there it's so easy to get the magnesium test here all to a little of uh, salt solution to a little of salt solution we have to add we have to add magnesone reagent we have to add magnesone reagent okay magnesone reagent to a little of salt solution we have to add magnesone reagent magnesone reagent and add some amount of sodium hydroxide NaOH sodium hydroxide when you're adding sodium hydroxide solution you're getting a blue colored precipitate hope you can able to see that a blue colored precipitate if you're getting a blue colored precipitate which indicate that the given salt contain group 6 cation that is mg2 plus magnesium hope you're clear how to identify the cation and anion from a given salt so you have to report to the teacher like the given salt contain cation as this one and anion as this one so the all maximum anions and maximum cation their group analysis and their individual preliminary test and confirmatory test flame test ash test all kind of test hope you clear through the video maximum try to practice in your chemistry lab and how to do the experiment what is the observation everything that's because experience makes everything perfect so wish you all the very best and uh, do your uh, lab examination very well thank you all bye brilliant Qatar. 
your trusted coaching partner for IIT, JE, NEET, Science and Commerce students with 10 years of excellence in quality training. Brilliant Qatar.